Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon all of you. My name is Zora Sawari and I'll speak to you today about having a vision and believing in yourself. At this time, you're probably wondering, what is a vision and what does having a vision mean? To have a vision means visualizing what you dream to be, seeing in the future where you want to be, what you want to be doing, and imagining the most impossible, the most difficult goals being achieved. That is a vision. We all have different visions in life, and our visions change as we accomplish some of those goals. I want you to dream again and to remember when you had visions in the past and begin writing your visions down immediately. You need a vision to succeed. You need a vision to accomplish goals. And most importantly, you need a vision to motivate and drive you to do the things you must do in order for your vision to come true. Where do you begin getting a vision? The first step into getting a vision is by becoming creative. All creative means is finding a new or improved way of doing something. We all have a genius in us, and I want you to discover what yours is. Once you discover your vision for your life, now you need to start believing in yourself. What happens so often is we have a vision, and then someone comes along the way and destroys it. Unfortunately, for most people, they believe in that other person more than they believe in themselves. You need to believe in yourself before anyone else does. You need to know that if you can see it, you can achieve it. Most importantly, believe in yourself when no one else does. One of my favorite stories is of Henry Ford in the car industry. Henry knew he had a great idea. The idea that Henry had so much conviction and believed in himself is, and what he was doing made others believe in him. He started working on his idea whenever he could. This led him to meet great people like Thomas Edison and other great people that approved of what he was doing. He did something to the car industry no other had done thus far. He made it the mass production of large numbers of inexpensive automobiles using an assembly line. He was able to finish a car in 98 minutes. Wow, can you believe making a car in 98 minutes? He also gave high wages to employees five dollars a day so he didn't have high turnovers. Do you think that if Henry didn't believe in himself and what he was doing, anyone else would have? Probably not. It is one's conviction and belief in themselves that make others want to listen and be part of them. Believing in yourself doesn't mean you won't fail. It just means every time you fail, you learn a new way of doing things. That you have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Lord of the universe, to guide you. And at the same time, you will do everything in your power to complete your goals.